Good morning, guys. Let's talk more about pine cones and pine seeds and pine stuff in general, okay? Let me flip my camera around here and uh, see what's going on. All right, so my little pile of pine crap. All right, here we go. All right, so if you didn't know, these little things in my neck of the woods, we have these pine trees that have these little tiny seeds, little tiny ones. All right, and they are easily confused with maple leaf uh, seeds that look very similar, except they're way bigger. And they're the ones like kids used to peel them open, stick them on the end of their nose, and throw them, and they twirl like a helicopter, right? But um, the big thing is, is these are actually the pine seeds, and inside the little seeds are pine nuts, right? Now, the big ones out west have the great big ones that you actually get your pine nuts from, right? These are obviously too small and are of little value for humans to eat, obviously, because they're just too little. Now, if you, you know, I've chewed up a bunch of these before, and guess what they taste like? Yeah, they taste like pine. Wow. Okay, now this, if you didn't understand where they come from, the anatomy of a pine cone they come out of here, right? They're all stuck up in here and they come out like that, right? And so this is actually, all you gotta do is shake them, right? Shake, look at that. You shake them and they come right out. Now the same thing applies with the big pine nuts. If you have the big ones that you can eat out west, um, you can just shake them Look at that, they come right out. Now here is one that still has some up around the top. You can see them right in there. That's all them. Yeah, that's all them. Okay, those are all the pine seeds. And you can see I shook up most of the ones down the bottom. There's not many left. But up top, it's good. This one is still full of them. You can see some there, right? There, and all around, you can still see, see them up in there. And... um there's a bunch of them there, so I could shake this one and get more. Anyway, this is all from like this pine cone. So you can see the squirrels go crazy and they chew this crap up. And that's they rip all the pine, the armor off of this thing and get it down to the core so they can get at each and every one of these and they eat them. So what value is that to a survivalist or someone, a prepper? Because if you got pine trees like this where they eat these things and you find a lot of these, that means you're going to have a ton of rodents and squirrels around that you can set traps and snares to get food, okay?